all my time pretty much filming skits, being an asshole, and skating. But at the same time, Jess and Darren would spend all day, every day, in my basement with a four track recording song. Everybody hates the basement, but, you know, like it or not, we got some good shit out of it. Fuck the basement. I hate that place. Everything's waterlogged. It's so humid down there. There's mold and spiders on my drums. It sucked. For some reason, as much as we hated the basement, we never really did any demos to anywhere else. And then I'm gonna get the bass. When we first started out, we were doing worse than Ian Mann. Fuck. We were playing at like East Ocean Park. <laughs> Foreign objects, we got CDs for sale if you guys are interested. It should be in the back. Or if you don't have it already, you can go to Westchester stores and they have. started out it was always me and Jess whether we were doing foreign objects or oil or CKY but the problem was is that it seemed like during every show we had a different bass player we started out with this guy named Andy Smith who <sighs> wore like far from groove and shirts and he was a cool guy still running from every once in a while <laughs> Then came Drew, who played with foreign objects, and Drew was old school, that's all I can say, old school, the cops were always after him, he came to practice drunk and he didn't show up at all. Then we got Ryan Bruni, who, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just Ryan Bruni. CKY, as a band, started when we met Chad Ginsberg. Uh, we went to some studio in Bucks County, and that's where he worked. And it was just so rad because he was as pissed off as we were and he just wanted to make a record as tweaked as possible because he's just sick of hearing everything. I think Chad was watching a lot of G.G. Allen videos so he would just do things like stare at one particular person in the crowd and like everybody would just be like, what's wrong with this guitar player? Like, it was, I think it was a good move for the band to put him in there because he's fucked. <laughs> to rock phenomenon, CKY has climbed the charts, and now they're at the top. 
And it feels good to be at the top because on the bottom it doesn't. So Chad comes up to Jess and Darren saying that he found a new bass player and they're like great you know this guy probably doesn't have both oars in the water you know he's probably fucking Jack being Chad's introducing them to us. So then it's like wait well if he is then good because you know everybody wants to see a fucking lunatic on stage so another good move. So lately it seems like the band has been on tour more than I am. Good, now you know what it's like. Just to let everybody know that that hurt like a motherfucker.